out so fast. You can't go out dressed like that. You'll frighten the natives. Come on, everyone. Hey, buddy. You can't just cut in front of me. I didn't just cut in front of you. I also cut in front of him, 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 and him. And while we've been standing here, they've cut in front of us. Kind of old behavior for a planet called Wait Your Turn. They're all cutting in line. They're barbarians. Back to the ship. Well there, Captain. Remember, we've got a job to do. What? Oh, yes. See, look. Kevin stole it already. Get your hands off me, you big look. I, I can't wait. Let me go. Stop it. Be nice. Excuse me, but how long has all this cutting been going on? Oh, it, it all started when President Noah and the President took office. First is way in the office, you mean? I see. Well, they're not good vacuums. We have heard your distress signal, and we are here to help. What? Oh, you're the guys from the Federation. We didn't call about the cutting line. We called you about the heat. Yeah, come to think of it, it is awfully hot out here. Like a sauna. Like a barbecue. Like someone's barbecuing in a sauna. It's gotten so bad, we had to cancel our ice sculpture competition. And this would have been the winning entry. It was a swan. It was beautiful. <laughs> Man. Angel, key up the satellite viewing system. Find out why it's so hot down here. Hang on. Captain, this planet is in worse trouble than we thought. It's broken out of its normal orbit and it's trying to cut in front of the other planets in its solar system. I think I know why, Captain. Sensors indicate a cutting in line bug infecting the entire planet. Oh, yeah, that's the bug that was introduced into our environment by President Noir, the president. You don't think that has something to do with all this mess, do you? It's a theory, anyway. And that's not all. In taking itself out of its normal orbit, the planet is now headed directly toward its sun. Don't you people understand? Your planet is headed for the sun. Yeah, but at least we're ahead of all the other planets. The cup is half full, my friend. What? That is good news. Captain, did you hear that? We're on the planet this fast. <gasps> Penguins, we have to get out of here. The cutting in line bug is infecting us too. Nonsense. But if it is, it infected me first. No, I was first. Me, me. You're all being ridiculous. I wanted to cut in front of you hours ago. People, don't you understand what happens when you get too close to the sun? You burn up. why you should wait your turn. No, no. Oh, what was that verse? Um, a patient man has great understanding, but a quick temper man displays folly. What's folly? Foolishness, trouble. Having to go first all the time only leads to trouble. Like getting burned up by the sun. Now, the consequences are not always so extreme, but good things come to those who wait. So, what do we do? After you. <gasps> what happened? You, you told someone else to go first. We haven't heard that since the line started. 
Jason, you've destroyed the cutting and line bug. Not only that, but the planet is returning to its normal orbit. <laughs> Where is he now? He was last seen early for space. Over, over there! <laughs> he is succeeded by President after you. Hello, citizens. As my first act in office, I would like to officially thank Jason and his penguin friends for saving our beloved planet. Mr. President, I have to ask, what is so important that everyone is cutting in line to see? Why, our telescope, Jason. We've discovered the most bizarre creature who appears to be spying on us. Well, looks like our work here is done. Penguins, let's pack it up. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. 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 Thanks for coming. You know, I really like that old landing gear idea. I think I'm going to give it a go. Yeah? Do you think you can build it? No. Oh, no job's too hard when you use your head. Right, Jason? Started. Uh, help me out here, Kevin. I'm having a little trouble reading the star calendar. Uh, Wednesday. Stardate Wednesday. Mission accomplished. Planet Wait Your Turn is safe and sound thanks to Jason's amazing display of patience. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you guys. You really don't get this whole daydreaming thing, do you?